Hey guys, it's Cowboy here. We're uh, crafting up some furnaces because uh, we got some got some things we got to be doing. Let's see, do we need? Um, let's just go throw away some of this stuff into the storage system. Um, so I went I went to a ocean monument, which is pretty cool. And but I I don't know really what happened. The footage from it got messed up. Um, like halfway through it, it got messed up, which is unfortunate. Um, because we haven't done that here on the series yet. But not to worry, not to worry. We went to two, two ocean monuments, and the second one I do still have the clips to. The first one wasn't that great anyway. There, I couldn't. Well, <laughs> I can't spoil it. Uh, we don't find any any sponges from the first ocean monument, and then so we went, and then I went back to the second one after we got a bunch of sponges. But yeah, we got uh, 64, two stacks of 64, and a, and a stack of 23. That's pretty darn good. And uh, I didn't see sponge rooms in the first one. And so we went back and I went and checked some more. And there was a sponge room, yeah. Spoiler. Um, <laughs> but anyway, I'll show you that. Uh, the only thing we missed is we had to go to the car cartographer from another village. Um, let's see. It was way over here. And the first monument that we went to is about over here somewhere, which is in that direction over there. And then the second one is, I think it's way down here and that way, I think. Wait, west. No, it's w over this way. It's that way. Um, from according to the map. Um, yeah. So we went over there. We got a cartographer um, from a random villager in another village some far away distance. And we also got, uh, let's see. Don't look at that. I had to get, I have to get through there because it's easier um this we got a woodlands mansion so if you want me to go to a woodlands mansion in the next episode or in the future episodes comment down in the description that you want me to go down there okay and i'll go there um but the so after we do the uh the ocean monument we also do, um, I'll just show you a little bit of it. This is to get uh, to the hoppers and the, the sorting stuff. So this is like a maintenance hallway. And I'm really excited about this, guys. This is really fun to, to, been, uh, to build. It's um, really easy, but I'm excited because this is so easy to get to. And I named it what's in there, so I don't have to click on it, which is amazing. And yeah, I just I've got all this in here so far, so I'll probably show you this again uh, in, in the next couple minutes after these other video clips. But yeah, I mean we got this room in here for uh, extra stuff. Oh, I'm so excited! This is this has been really fun. But anyway, without further ado, let's get into the ocean monument destroying. Oh right! Look at all these sponges. Oh, this is awesome. Okay, we got one sponge room here. That's awesome. Okay, we need to kill this other guardian, which he should be back here, I think. Um, possibly? Yeah, here he is. Yeah, down, down, down. <gasps> another sponge room another sponge room another sponge room holy cow oh this is awesome I found you you're dead my friend you're dead <laughs> yeah guys I've got so many sponges now this is amazing <clears throat> 31 sponges. I've never had that many sponges before in vanilla Minecraft. I normally stay away from the temples just because they're they're a project, man. And to get anything useful out of them, you got to turn them into a farm. Uh, other than the sponges. 
and um, yeah, just never really uh, did a whole lot of research on them, so I really was a little ignorant on them. But apparently, most of them will have two sponge rooms, and um, some of them won't have any kind of like the one we, we got earlier. That kind of sucked because we didn't get anything from it. But it's okay. Okay, well, this is in the tip of things. I think we gotta go up here. Possibly, no, this is the very top. Let's look here. Um, just bust through walls until you find it, right? <laughs> yeah, here we go. <laughs> Guys, we got a bunch of sponges. Look at that, over a stack and a half. That is absolutely nuts. Well, I think I think we need to head back now. There's really nothing else here that we need to get. The sponges was all we needed to get. So I think I'm gonna get into flight mode and be prepared to leave this area. Okay, welcome back. Now you got a little taste of what we did. It really wasn't that exciting. I went through a bunch of the footage and it was kind of dark and uh, not the best footage I've ever had. So I just showed you a little bit here and there and uh, yeah, we <laughs> we got bigger fish to fry. Um, now I'm going to show you a little clip that whenever, when I first started doing this and, uh, I wasn't planning on showing y'all too much of this, but, uh, now that I've been doing it, it's pretty exciting to me. It's pretty fun and I'm having a blast doing this. Um, I guess I'm having fun doing it because it's a functional build. Uh, I come back here a lot and I'm usually having to climb all over things to get to get to whatever and this makes it so much more easy because I don't have to uh, do parkour <laughs> and it's kind of cool because it's it's like something you would really see in in a, in a legit place you know this is like the piping you see and uh I don't know it just seems pretty cool to me I like it don't make fun <laughs> Anyway, let me show you this clip and we'll come back and I'll, I'll show you some things of what I've done in the functions and, and some of the hiccups we're getting to. This is turned out to be extremely fun and extremely cool. This is like, uh, I don't know, it's really cool. It's, it's, I'm trying to keep it one wide hallways. So you go through here. I, oh, and I took out that dispenser thing. Um... It wasn't in a good location. I think I would rather have it in a different spot, and I have an idea for that later, but for now, let's forget about that, and let's just look at this. So we got a door here, that goes up to the access hall, and then we have another door here so we can come out. And if you see what I did, I'm just making a box, basically. It's really ugly out here, but I think I'm gonna use this space for other things now, like this door can come out and go somewhere else. And because we have all this space up here and we should be able to use it uh, Might be able to put a like a fishing farm in here and that would be very useful extremely useful Because um, mine's right there right now and it doesn't hold everything I need it to and Yeah, certain things need to be piped in to The uh, main storage system and certain things need to be in its own. So yeah, anyway, so that's really cool um, I had to redo some stuff up here. I'm, I needed for aesthetically looking uh, purposes. I repopped all this, so now um, this actually right there, these oak stairs, they um, it's, it works, I believe. I hope. We'll see. Yep. Whoa. Uh oh, we've got a problem. Uh oh, I didn't test it. I should have tested it. Okay, um, uh, Dad Nabbit, I uh, better. This is gonna go boop, 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 boop. Okay, maybe this needs to be 
Come on. A... Oh no, that can't be a... I was going to make it into a monostable circuit, but then if it has a bunch of items, it would never... It would never fire off. Well, that stinks. I thought I had this all figured out. Let's get 14, okay. It's going three, two, one. Oh! It's too much delay. Okay, let's try this yet again. So let's put this in there. Put that cactus in there because cactus was going in the system. All right, let's just do one. Oh, yeah, we had to take out one repeater and that fixed the whole problem. Okay, good. I was a little worried about that for a second, but no big deal. We redid everything so it fits the system now. That's good. Okay, so now we can also come up here and I'm gonna make it to where you can either go this way or you can go this w go around that way. So um, I'm probably gonna break out this and then we'll put in uh, a little hallway like this going over here. I uh, already got one right there, right there, and it'll it'll go around that way. That way we can access all that, and then also want to be able to access on top of here and be able to walk all the way around on top. That's extremely important to me. And this is the thing that I think is the coolest. So this is like a access for maintenance area. So I need to pick like a little maintenance area. Down here is where, um, like it's just wasted space down there basically. So I figured instead of making this wasted space some more, we could uh, turn this into like, um, yeah, maintenance hall or uh, um, where they keep tools and stuff. I think that'd be kind of cool. And um, yeah, I'm just gonna keep building and uh, see what we get. Okay, so, oh, gotta get that. Um, some things that we were running into, and it's kind of, kind of not not doing us very good, is the placement of where the hoppers are to get to them. Now you saw at the beginning where I was doing the the uh, I, uh, the the signs so we could see what was in there and access the the stuff fairly easily. Well, it's not always gonna be that easy because these are the hoppers that carry the item. That hopper down there that you see that I can't get to, that's a hopper, this one right here. This is the hopper with the actual item in it. So as you can see, I can't get to that one. I can't get to this one right here. So to get to that one, I'm either gonna have to do this, break that, open it up, check it out, put it back, close it. That's fine. Or I could break the the hopper above it and check it, that'd be fine too. But the problem with that is you can't really see very well which way the hopper direction is and I might forget, I don't trust myself. So I'll probably just end up breaking that block and, and getting in there. Um, I put in, I'm trying to put uh, furnaces over all the hoppers, so it tries to it reduces a little bit of the lag. Let's uh, let's go to the very beginning. Let me give you a little tour of what I have so far. So I took out the dispenser stuff because it was just getting in the way of this. Uh, I think this is a lot better build, a lot better uh, functionality out of it, and we can move that other dispenser armor automatically late armor dispenser thingy uh, to a better location. Uh, in a little. Um, so this, you go up here, you can get into the main area that way, the area that we were in. So you come up here and yeah, yeah, it's very vanilla, like old style build because very plain, but I like it. I don't know. I don't know how to explain it. I like it though. So you can come up here and you can get on top of these furnaces and you can walk all the way through the whole thing all the way around. It's connected now. Uh, I think this did help me on my frame rate 
a lot actually putting all these hop or these uh, furnaces on these dispensers. Ugh, hoppers, furnaces on the hoppers. I think it helped quite a bit. And then also you can go this way, and you can go all the way around. I named every single one of them, and see like this one's empty. So it has the block number, it says block 406, block 406. And I did that all the way around and we can go all the way around that way and it meets up right over here. And then uh, let's go this way real quick. These, in every corner <clears throat> we have this little doohickey, okay? And this is very, very interesting because we can make little little rooms for uh, what would you call it? like a maintenance room kind of deal you know it would be kind of cool and we need to do something with the lighting we need to get some kind of lighting up here or probably do lighting up here I might get some sea lanterns and stick them up there I think that would be uh, a nice a nice little touch <clears throat> I had to put uh, obsidian there because of the uh, slime block and I couldn't really put anything here. I guess I could stick some some blocks around, but I kind of like being able to see out right there. That's kind of a unique area. Uh, oh yeah, unique. There's one right there, but you can see out more over here than you can over there. Okay, no. And then in here, these are the uh, the items right there for the torches. This is the hallway. Um, this is the hallway where we have all the storage items in here. And then over there is our other room that goes down into the furnace array. So to get up here, you just come up here. And this is the same setup I have over there where I was showing you originally. But these, I can get to. I don't need to get to them, so I just put these on top so we have a smooth surface to walk on. And then you can get up on top of the furnaces this way. Uh, and go around and then we can come down here and check out these like see look this is why I need a I need to uh, why see why does it do that sometimes it does that I think it does it whenever it's unloaded mm-hmm that is something we need to address eventually well, I'll fix that for now. I'll just take those torches out, and this thing will run continuously. And when I hear... I'll, I'll check it out a little later. I put some more items in here, so... Whatever. I don't know. Things don't always work. It's kind of fr... Oh, this is why... Exactly why I wanted to get some, uh... Some stuff down, or... Get that room down, because, uh... It is extremely dangerous around here, okay? <laughs> Very dangerous. Uh, let's put some lighting up here. Let's do that. And... What? That thing over there is going crazy. Going crazy. All right. <clears throat> now you can just jump down here, do that, and get all your blocks back. Super simple. Okay, guys. I think I got it all done. I just closed everything in that I could with uh, cobble. Uh, it's better ensure that the um, nothing would spawn because I'm really scared about that. Uh, I've had creepers blow up all the time and I hate it. I hate it. I also put this in and what it does is um, o over here I have an out of elevator. And as you saw earlier, sometimes items get stuck in it, and that's whatever. I didn't really know that was going to happen. I guess it's because that the chunks come unloaded, and but we can load the chunks all the time because over here is um, is the spawn chunk right here. This is main spawn chunk, and I can load those chunks if I put hoppers in the ground. This is the um, line that goes over there. And then it turns off some torches that turns off some or turns on these torches on these blocks right here and then turns off those and then lets the hopper unlock and it just goes back and forth. But as you can see in my inventory is pretty full and I also have um, boxes that need to be unloaded 
and I don't really want to just like throw the boxes down. I had an item unloader, like a shulker box unloader before, and it was an all right design, and, uh, but I wanted to get, make a new one. The problem with that design was is it would break if you put a box in there that didn't have any, any items in it. So I built a new one just now, a designed one, and I would like to put it in. Uh, also, man, we got a lot of stuff done today. I'm so excited. Okay, this is the item elevator. So this is this is what um this box right here is where the boxes would come back, and the blocks the box below it, the chest below it, um you would put your shulker box that you want to unload in, and then it would go around into this dropper elevator, and it would go up, and we would have a hopper line going over here. So let's let's try to do that now. Um, it's seven tall, and I know if I go out this far, I should be all right. So that will go to that. It'll go up into there. Okay, let's uh, get a platform right here. And then we'll build this thing over here. Yeah, I'll have to tear this wall down and we'll expand this room out a little bit. But I think I can do that like that. Now we need a dropper. Let's see, dispenser and dropper. Okay. I'm going to try to do this off memory. I just built it too, so. Okay, so it goes into a dropper and then I'll. Um, oh, you know what? I need a dispenser too. So a dispenser. I think I got some. Yeah. Okay, dispenser. And dispenser needs to go right there. So, there, yep. And then, hopper, okay. And then I'm pretty sure we need a comparator right there. So let me get some comparators. Let me just grab a bunch of stuff. Comparators, redstone, um, sticky pistons, observers, definitely. And I think that's all I need. Okay, and then so that goes into there. We need repeaters, Comparator, or comparator, right there, and then right here, we need a comparator. Let's see, let's take this wall down a little bit. Oh, yeah. You know what? I think I'm just going to speed this up real quick, because I don't think we're going to have enough time if I just do this one at a time, so let's go into super fast mode.
Okay, I think it's time for a test. So let's get an empty shulker box out. So let's put the gray one down and let's put, let's put our nine arrows in there. And then the other one we're gonna have empty. The white one, okay. Now this should be, the gray one should be emptied and the, and the white one should be just be broken. Okay, let's try this test once again. I had to modify it up there a little bit. Let me show you what I had to do. I designed this originally for something completely different and then this is what happened. It turned into this, which is pretty cute. I'm totally happy with that. Oh no. Okay, so I had to make this where it was completely enclosed because the um, shulker box was bouncing over here and that's not, that's no bueno. Uh, get stuck. Get out of here. Oh, I don't have an arrow. Okay, so we know the elevator works. So, oh yeah, so I had to just move this all out one and it, it's it's no big deal. It's, it's one wider, but that ain't gonna bother me much. <laughs> Okay, excellent. This is all enclosed. I'm happy with that. Okay, so if we put empty box and then the shulker one with the with the nine arrows, we should have something like two of them here and nine arrows and our two shulker boxes. Excellent. <laughs> okay, I think I solved our problem with uh, this dispenser. This comes from our cactus and uh, slime ball farm. Uh, it comes up and it was pointed into this uh, dispenser. Oh wait, what happened here? Okay, yeah, that doesn't go there, that's fine. Um, it was pointing into this one right here, but if I was feeding stuff in from my input chest over here and this was full, you see it wouldn't, this would just jam up in this one right here. But since it keeps going all the way up, now, um, it goes up and it has like a backlog chest now, two of them. It comes up, goes into this chest, goes into these two hoppers, and then goes into this chest. And then from there it goes through the, um, uh, into these uh, hoppers and that go into the atom elevator. So that, that helps quite a bit. We'll never get jammed up and don't worry, I've got a, uh, I've got a, stairs on top of that so this still opens up because if you have solid blocks over a chest you cannot put items in it um what else did we do okay and then as you can see there's there's a chest here with hoppers going into it and then a chest here hopper going into it chest and it goes around and then it goes all the way up so now we have a backlog of stuff here and then these hoppers go over here to this into that chest right there. So we should be okay. All right, man, I'm, I'm so excited. We got so much done, so much done today. This has been like a week for me, but oh God. Oh, see this, I don't understand how they spawn in here. I don't know where they're spawning at. I'm gonna have to do some searching, probably right here. Yeah, right there it was freaking a spot. Let's try this right here. Let's see, what do we have in these boxes? Actually, all this stuff that's non-stackable stuff should just come back to us. Yeah, I think so, let's try it. We've got a water bottle, pretty cool. What else are we gonna get? Hopefully, hopefully all of it comes back to us. We'll see. Yep, we get all of their non-stackables. They come back in here. That's awesome. Okay, now we need a shul we need a shulker box box where I can get my shulker boxes if I need to. We need a bunch of stuff. All oh, this is exciting. This is exciting. This place is like awesome right now. Awesome. Anyway, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. If you're new, go come check out some of my other videos if you like. Subscribe for more content. And uh, do please leave a like if you enjoy these uh, Wild Wild West series, man. It, it really gives me more inspiration to, to, to do more videos. And, um, yeah, it helps the channel a lot. So, um, yep, without further ado, remember, Jesus loves you.
I love you. And we'll see you next time here in the wild, wild west. See ya.